Hi, Jonathan Perkins here, location lead and PFR agronomist here at our Effingham site, right out here by the cross in lovely Effingham, Illinois. So I'm out here doing a little bit of a follow-up shoot to our herbicide insight days. And one of the topics that we talked about was actually some antagonism with using the Enlist chemistry. So in this case, using Enlist 1, but whether we're talking about Enlist 1 or Enlist Duo, basically talking about the pair of them and some of the issues that we can see with group four, the synthetic oxygen chemistries, tank mixing with a clethodim type product, or uh, some of those products that we're trying to use to control volunteer corn with. Now, in this case, it's most on the dim side, uh, but there has been some work being done uh, with the FOPS as well. So currently, we're going to talk to you about some work that we've done uh, this summer, actually, with working with the clethodim products, in this case, a 2EC formulation of section that we're utilizing here, and the results that we saw. So when we talk about that antagonism, what we're looking at is a few different rates out here. We're looking at a four ounce rate, an eight ounce rate, and a 12 ounce rate. Now, what they're actually saying and suggesting, Corteva has recommended uh, going to more of a increase by one third style rate. So when I say that, we're basically thinking about a 130%, if you will, as some people will say, or increasing that rate by a third of what we have. So in this case, going from the four to the 12, gets us that accomplished with the 2EC product. So I'm going to show you some of those results. Back here behind us is where the study actually was, but I want to show you what that looked like in terms of 14 days after treatment with one of the boards that we had for the herbicide insight days. So if you notice, we look at the six ounce rate that we'd normally use, you know, one of those for volunteer corn control with glyphosate, with Liberty. What we see there is that, you know, we can increase some of that grass control by having clethodim in the tank. But what happens when we insert that group four into the mix? So what we see here is a slight decrease, don't we? So we see that dip down to 82% control using the Liberty and List One together, as well as the clethodim there, 82% on the grass side with fall panicum. Now when we move to eight ounce, basically doubling the rate, if you will, we actually see a slight increase there. So up to 86%, we're close to what we saw out of the Liberty plus the clethodim there. But when we increase that even more, so going by that increase of a third, or in this case, 3x of that 2EC rate at the base of four ounces that we might see on label, we go to the 12 ounce rate, we see an increase, we get the 95% control on the fall panicum, still achieving that good control there on the water hemp as well with 96%. So showing you that there is some antagonism, but we can offset that by increasing that rate. Now, just to reiterate, you know, one of the things that we can see with some of these products is that we can actually see a little bit of that antagonism or setting us back by having that in there in terms of control. Um, so, you know, when we mix those products together, sometimes when we mix things in the tank, not all tank mixes are created equal, right? So certain products will actually hold others back from their efficacy unless we increase that and offset the rate. So just food for thought to help out in that volunteer corn control situation or grass pressure when we're mixing these chemistries, consider upping that rate of a clethodim product in this case, or you know whatever you might be using there for your volunteer corn control to make sure that you get the maximum efficacy there. So once again, this has been Jonathan Perkins, a report from out here in the field from our herbicide insight days and the learnings that we had from that. Uh, definitely encourage you to stay tuned for more that might come this fall as a result of some of the other results that we had out here, some of the other studies that we had out here as well from Herbicide Insight. Thanks again.